Hi again, this is Traffic Light 678. Today I'm hooking up my ISP Verizon Action Tech MI424WR Rev I Gigabit Router. Power supply is already plugged into a uh, Power strip back there, it's the one with the green line. I don't want to go back there because it's a big power strip. First thing we do to assemble the router is we take the uh, the device itself and there's an arrow that corresponds with the front of the stand, which is the router goes through the front. And uh, you can actually leave it on these rubber feet. If you remove the rubber feet, you could actually mount it on the wall. My particular setup, it's not going to be mounted on the wall, so replace the rubber foot. My particular setup, we're going to use the stand, so there's the stand. But before we get to it, by the way, this router features Five Ethernet ports. You got a WAN Ethernet, LAN Ethernet, reset button for factory default if you need to, on and off, power adapter. This coaxial terminal is if you want, if you have a Mocha enabled device or Fios networking, you connect it to this. You got two USB and two dual band antennas. All this is, it says Verizon. Make it a video. The router. My router. Login. It has the information. It's all faded. You can't see. It's got status lights on the front that correspond with each connector. Power, WAN Ethernet, WAN coax, Internet. The LAN Ethernet ports, if you want to plug in anything, my whole house is wireless. LAN coax, USB, wireless, and of course, as with all routers, you got your little Wi-Fi protected setup thingy. To attach the router to this stand, place Wi-Fi protected setup buttons, the butt, the base. Just lock it. Hit the click. Now, my particular WAN setup is not WAN coax, it's WAN Ethernet. In a previous video, I showed you my DSL modem. What we're going to do is we're going to connect Ethernet cable to uh, the WAM port. Next step, if you're connecting any wired devices, this is a good time to hook them up now or a coax device. Since I don't have to hook up any of that power adapter, flip this antenna down out of the way. Put that into position. Put that antenna back up. To turn it on, push that to the I position. When you flip it around, you're going to see first the red light means that the machine itself is powering on. We're going to watch it power up. As you can see it's red. It's according to the indicator there. We're going to wait for it. all lights to turn green. What's supposed to turn green is the power, the ethernet, the internet, and the wireless for this one, and Wi-Fi protected setup. So what we're going to do, it's switching on, it's 
you could see the power adapter it's warming up. You'll see it flash green any second low power. There we go. Not a great a green power. Now what else do we need? Green. Next light that's gonna come on is the uh the wireless or the WAN Ethernet wireless last night. Light is gonna be uh internet connectivity it's, yeah, now it's all green and as you can see all these green lights and also correspond on the bottom there next video is the setup page bye